Hi, welcome back to Spicy Mama's Kitchen. We're in my greenhouse today, and you know, I just love this time of year because it's harvest time. So today we're going to actually make some salsa and use my fresh vegetables right out of my garden here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and pick up some more of the vegetables that we need for the garden. Hi, we're just getting our vegetables chopped up here while I'm waiting for our water to get going so that we can blanch our tomatoes. So um, I'm starting with the onions and then I'll just move on to the bell peppers. Oh my gosh, when you, you know, fresh bell peppers right out of the garden. You just open, cut one open and oh, the smell, it's just, there's nothing like a fresh bell pepper just cut for it straight from the garden. Oh, so delicious. Okay, so I've got, um, I've got, I'm starting with my green bell peppers. Green bell peppers are really the best ones to use because it adds a, a contrast to color from your red tomatoes. But I also like to add in red bell peppers, which all, all red bell peppers are is when they've been on the, the vine a little bit longer than the green, they turn red. And they are a little bit sweeter. So it's kind of nice to add a contrast of both the red, the red and the green to it. So that's why I do it. Okay, I'm getting, um, I'm now going to put our onions and our bell peppers that I've chopped up into our pot because we, this, this type of, there's different types of salsa that you can make. This type of salsa we actually cook for 30 minutes. So I'm going to get our bell peppers in so I can go ahead and then chop up our ha uh, habaneros because this is habanero salsa. Our water's boiling so we're going to go ahead and get all our tomatoes put in so that we can get the get them peeled. Just, just keep your fingers out of the water. All right, now we're just going to put the lid on it so that they have a chance to boil. Once they come to a boil, you'll see they'll start to split, the, the um, skin will start to split, and then they're ready to take off. Okay, I'm going to put on a glove here because we're going to, I'm going to chop up habaneros and everybody knows how hot habaneros are. Well, I don't want to touch my face after um, chopping these up, so I like to put a glove on it. It helps to keep the heat down because sometimes even if you wash your hands after touching these, it's still kind of like seeping into your skin, so this is really the best. It's just to put a glove on, then you can take it off and you're good to go there. Woo, I just opened up a fresh habanero, and man, the spice just it woofed out at me. Wow. Okay, we got our habaneros. This is only two habaneros, but I think it'll be plenty for our salsa. We've got these ready, so I'm going to take these over because now what we need to do is we need to stop the cooking process. And so that means we need to put them in some ice water right away. You can see that the tomato peeling is coming right off. Just comes off, the peelings just come right off of here. That's what we're looking for. Still a little hot, but uh. <laughs> now we're just going to roughly chop our tomatoes so that, because you don't want them really chopped too fine, but you need them bite sized when they, once they get in the salsa. Now we've got our tomatoes and our onions and our um, bell peppers in here. So now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients to this pot so we can get it cooking. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and chop up our cilantro. We want about um, two to three tablespoons full of cilantro. Can't make salsa without cilantro. We've put our cilantro in, and now we're going to put our can of tomato paste in. What I like to do, this is just a little trick that I like to do, is I will go ahead and take off one end, and then I've already got the other end. You just shove it right in. That way you don't get it stuck all over the jar. The jar gets, it all just sticks to the jar now. There you go. Just a little fun fact. Now we're going to add some cumin. Lots of Mexican food you use cumin in, and it's just that's a great flavor. About a tablespoon. And then we're going to add our garlic. And I, was, I, I like to add, oh, good two or three tablespoons full. 
just to give it really nice flavor in our in our salsa. There we go. Just a whole jar. And then we're going to add our salt. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to simmer this for half an hour. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Now that our salsa has been cooking for 30 minutes, now we're ready to go ahead and put it in our jars. Gonna bring it over here. Our jars have all been sterilized in the dishwasher, so they're ready to be filled. All right, now what we're going to do is we're just going to wipe off the sides of the, for the, put the lids on so that everything is clean So because we want a good seal. Now then, we're going to take our lids. We've, we've, wet, we've boiled our lids so that they're sterile as well. They make this little handy little gadget here for getting your lids. We got nine jars, so now we're getting ready to just go ahead and get them can. You just want to put them in where there's just like that much to the top, of the water's that much to the top. Put them in, once it starts to boil, we'll boil them for, for 15 minutes and then they'll be ready to go. Thanks for joining us today on Spicy Mama's Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed watching how we make salsa. We have a little bit extra and we're able to taste it now and have a good time eating it. Please watch all our videos and like and subscribe and we will have another video coming out for you next week. Thanks.